Okay, did I figure this out? Hello, if you are watching this, I've tried to go live twice and I think I was indeed streaming, but it's not here. What is going on? Is this a, oh wait, there I am. Okay, wait, wait. I was like, is this a YouTube thing? But I think we're fine. I think we're good now. The thing is, you don't even know what we're good for because I was struggling in silence. But hello, if you are watching after the stream is already up. Hi, I'll have timestamps for you. I hope you're getting notified of this stream. I hope YouTube doesn't think I'm spamming. I'm so confused. Hi. You guys didn't see me go live before this, right? Like, nobody saw me go live. Like, you did not hear me say, why is chat disabled? What is going on? Um, hello, 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 hello. Okay, so you guys are saying no, you didn't see it. Weird, where was I streaming? I'm so confused. I don't know, I also hope I don't uh, have lipstick on my teeth. Hi, Holly. Uh, Brenna, thanks so much for joining the channel memberships. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm going to post nice and early, but uh, today is our last stream for two weeks, um, which is crazy, uh, but I'll explain more. This is our final regularly scheduled scream stream for a while, though. Janie Ryan, thanks so much for joining the channel uh, membership. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'm feeling a little funky today. I feel like very... I don't know how to explain it, just like stuffed up. So if I'm talking kind of kind of nasally, that's what it is. I don't think we have any mods in. Yeah, two weeks, two whole weeks I'll be gone. Um, let's see, what do I need to do? Whoa, let's see, that's a big super chat. Give me a sec, it's very sweet of you. Oh wait, did I, why did this not link? I'm so confused. YouTube's being funny today. Alrighty. Why did I close that? <laughs> I feel so rusty, weirdly. It feels like it's been a lot longer than a week since our last Scream stream. I don't know what it is yet, or what it is yet. I don't know what it is about today. Also, hi, Blue. Thanks so much for modding. I really think you're the only one here. to do what should i need to do i need to post that i'm live i'm gonna post on the community tab here on youtube and also on instagram and then i will read all the things that have come in <laughs> Okay. Thanks, Skylantis. I'll catch up with the super chats and stuff in a sec, but and with chat in general, of course. I'm just posting that I'm live everywhere because I 
feel bad. I'm not going to be streaming for two weeks. <laughs> so I want everyone who wants to be here to know that I am live. Why can't I post these images? Hmm? YouTube? Um, I stopped using Twitter again, or X or whatever it is. I don't think I'm going back on there. <laughs> I think that might be the end. <laughs> hey, Romy, thanks so much for modding. So I'm probably only gonna be announcing streams moving forward on like Instagram and on YouTube. Um. Ah. Oh my god, me like how do I find the link? Oh no. Oh, I've really I've really done this now haven't I <laughs> oh no how do I get this to myself not having a a, a, a a Mac is sorry I thought I just saw a freaking spider dude I there are bugs it feels like all over my house right now um I got my house sprayed yesterday for spiders and stuff because I kept seeing spiders there was like a massive one outside of um my place and so i had my house sprayed but now it feels like every single bug that's in my house has like it, like the bugs that were in my home before my house got sprayed are now like everywhere like i've seen like four spiders today and like i saw a bunch of flies on the window that had just like been in my house i guess and they were all dead it it's been a very weird day. It's been very weird. Um, um, the doop doop. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's really inconvenient not to have like a Mac <laughs> when you have an iPhone. Sorry, friends. I am uh, trying to post today has been taking so freaking long oh hi maggie may i will catch up here in a sec i hope you guys can hear me a little bit better um than maybe you have been able to previously oh my god please phone i'm begging i just need this link there we go there we go there we go. There we go. Slice, slice, slice. I don't even know if people will end up being able to click it anyway, but. <laughs> okay. My, uh, my phone is lagging so bad. Oh 
Oh my gosh, what is going on? Technology's being funky. It's Mercury retrograde, huh? It's it's just Mercury retrograde. Everything is just going nuts. The last scheduled stream. Okay. Okay. Slay, I finally posted. Hello, welcome to the last scheduled stream for a little bit. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do tonight. Um, not gonna lie to you, I was late because um, I can't stop playing Baldur's Gate 3. I can't stop playing Baldur's Gate 3. Um, it is my favorite thing in the entire universe. Uh, I play it as a dating sim. I'm in love, <laughs> in love with Asterion. Ari, that was completely unnecessary, dude. I, I didn't ask. Like, I'm wearing a wig for fun. Can you be nice? Like, what is that about? Um, <laughs> I was saying, though, that... What was I just talking about, actually? I, like, literally look at chat and it's someone saying that this hair color doesn't work for me. Um, but last scheduled stream for a couple of weeks, uh, didn't want to do it because of Baldur's Gate 3. I'm obsessed with Baldur's Gate 3. It is so much fun. I play it as a dating sim. That's what I was getting to. Um, <laughs> thank you guys. I mean, I appreciate that. I just think that was so unnecessary. Uh, I like the wig, so there we go. That's probably good right there um but 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 i can't stop playing Baldur's gate 3 <laughs> i literally can't stop playing it it's so fun it's so freaking fun it's so fun i'm like obsessed with it i'm obsessed with the campaign like it is just the most fun that I've had with a game. It's also like the hardest game I think I've ever played. But I'm so sad because basically I am um I am playing it. I, I don't even know if I'm gonna play it past today. Um That's so true, Harmony. This hair color doesn't work for anyone. She's an independent girly. Um I also think I probably don't usually see things like that, but we have like no mods tonight. Um, although I think, oh, actually Romy's here. Romy is here. But it is like Romy solo right now. Um, I'm sad because I am leaving the country. I'm leaving the country. Um, hence why there will be no scheduled streams for a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited. It's going to be a really fun uh, trip, but I'm also gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna miss just being at home. Um, it's weird to be leaving, but it's also for work and it's gonna be a super fun trip. Um, my members know where I'm going. <laughs> it's okay, Romy. Um, but yeah, it'll be like, It'll, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I feel a little scattered. I feel a little bit like overwhelmed. I'm a little, a little homesick already. Um, but it'll be good. So next Sunday, there won't be a stream. I will be elsewhere. However, I probably will stream the following Sunday. So yeah, I'll see you guys in two weeks. I, uh, was also going to say that like, 
I could be streaming while I'm gone, but like none of them will be planned and none of them are going to be like, like prioritized. So it, does that make any sense? Like I'm doing like a lot of other content while I'm on this trip. Um, and I want to like be able to focus on that, but also focus on just, you know, traveling and having fun. Um, and also just for safety reasons, it's probably not the best to like stream and stuff um, with any kind of planning around it while I'm gone. The hours will be very weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Um, but I am very tired, as you can probably tell. Everything with this past week has just been like batshit. I like I truly having Riley healing from surgery, which is going okay, but I essentially have like an infant child 24-7 who like I'm just on like constant Riley duty and he's with his vets and a really good friend of mine while I'm out of town. So that'll be really good. Um, he'll still be healing up in good company. Um, but it's just been like a crazy, crazy long week. I'm glad to be streaming. I'm excited to be here. I feel a little out of my element, but I'm sure I'll warm up the more that we talk. Um, also, yummy, Blue. That sounds good. That sounds really good. But yes, the trip. The trip. It'll be fine. Uh, if you are on the member side of everything, I will be updating there so much and on other social media. But I'm going to get through all of the new memberships and super chats and stuff really quick. And then we'll get into the video. We're watching today um, the same creator as the children under the house, uh, Vintage 8. This one is called The Children with Black Eyes. And I think it's a very similar art style, a very similar like kind of form of storytelling. I think it'll be really, really fun. Um, I was going to do today like a, like um, uh, you send me your scary videos, but I thought that might be a little bit too chaotic. Uh, and I'm very glad I didn't, I think for this one, just because I think we're, we're low on, oh, actually Blue's here now, so maybe not. I was gonna say we're low on mods, but um, I didn't think I would have like the bandwidth to be able to keep up with that or anything. So yeah, we're watching some chill, scary horror videos and well, we're watching one, one, <laughs> one master horror video. And yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be very fun. Um, Brenna, Janie, Ryan, thank you both for joining the channel memberships. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you guys here. I think I said thank you earlier, but just reiterating. Uh, I'm going to butcher it. I'm so sorry. Chaewon lover? If that's your profile photo, she's lovely. They're lovely. They're just so lovely. I think that's who that is. I have no idea. I'm very sorry. I need to get back on my K-pop shit. Um, but happy one month. Happy Scream Stream. I'm so happy you're here. Official Terror Spooky, thanks for seven months. Digi said, hey, babe, I was going to stream uh, when I got out of work, but Scream Stream takes priority. I'm mad, EP, though. Digi, my love, thanks for popping in. I love you so much. I'm happy you're here. I feel so honored you would want to do <laughs> partial Scream Stream uh, Sunday. But if you want to leave and go stream in the middle, don't, don't let me hold you up. Um, uh, Brendy9, thanks for a month. Love you so much. Many more months to come. Kylantis said, hi, Loie. I hope Mercury Retrograde hasn't been too crazy for you. I'm struggling. Life has been so fashionable lately. And then also said, this hair is so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like this hair. I think it's fun. It's just a little synthetic wig. I honestly just found it in my bathroom, like floating on a shelf base, not float, not like actually floating, but you know, when like you have things in your house that you just don't put away, this was just like floating around my bathroom forever. Um, like I did not tape her down in any way. You really can't tell with the headphones, but there's like leftover wig tape and stuff on here. I never cleaned off. Um, but I like this color a lot, actually. I'm thinking about getting a human hair wig in this shade, just so it's like, 
you know, it looks good like this, but if I wore this out of the house, it would tangle instantly and it's not super, super comfortable. So I love you, Kylantis. Mercury retrograde has been batshit crazy. <laughs> it has been tough. It's been tough. There's been a lot of like miscommunications, a lot of like just Mercury retrograde, like me missing very important calls because my phone, people can't get in touch with my phone and it'll give like a weird error message about um, this number has been disconnected and it's not been, and this has happened like three times. Like there's just been a lot, like the freaking streaming on YouTube and I think accidentally streaming to Twitch. I don't know if that's what I did or not, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's been very Mercury retrograde lately. Um, like just not getting things easily i would say is my mercury retrograde experience i hope it gets better for you official terror spooky feeling a bit sad so thank you for going live if it's really if, if it's any consolation i'm a little sad today too i'm a little down in the dumps i really i was talking to um my best friend earlier and i was telling her like i just didn't I, I part of me wanted to skip today so badly but like i knew it was my last stream for two weeks and i didn't want to I didn't want to skip and I love hanging out and every time that I actually go live I feel so good once it starts but like I have so much anxiety building up to it um so I get it and I love you official Terry spooky Alyssa S thanks for three months <laughs> very uh very uh echoing your message is echoing like what i said before which is uh you said the sunday streams call my anxiety so much they call mine too but i get i get a little freaked out i get a little i get a little weird beforehand nova core thanks for four months maggie may glad to see you lovely love the wig hope you're doing well today i'm doing better now i'm doing better what about pumpkin spice empanadas Mary McGill said that if you live near a Sam's Club, check out the pumpkin spice empanadas. That's so sly, actually. That sounds delicious. I, um, God, I love pumpkin spice everything. I love pumpkin spice everything. <laughs> I, um, didn't get... Uh, my my beloved pumpkin spice latte today, but I've only been getting them on days that Riley has vet, vet visits, but it's been like every single day this week. So I've gotten a pumpkin spice latte like every single day. Um, I missed it though, I really did. Quincy, thanks for your super chat. I appreciate you. And then Gigi said, look at you, you look stunning. Love you, love you Gigi, you look stunning. Uh, Kat Jardine. <laughs> Hello, beautiful Loie. Uh, super excited for this stream topic as I'm an educator with a specialization in visual art and a special interest training, uh, interest slash training in child safety, including communicating through artwork. Okay, so this is a totally fictional, like, analog horror series. I guess, uh, maybe I clickbaited a teensy bit with the title actually i need to be putting uh i i realize now a lot of you said you didn't realize this was a scream stream um or oh i wonder if that's why it screwed up before because the title that i had originally is too long Man, I always like to put the live in there, but I can't get over it or I can't get past Scream Stream. It's too many characters. But yes, they are, um, they are static. Hi. Um, they are like fictional, like it's a fictional story. Um, so hopefully that doesn't take away from the excitement for you, but it'll be fun. I think it'll be really, really interesting. Hi, Drew. Thanks so much for modding. I was just saying how I feel so out of sorts today, but I am very thankful for you and Romy and Blue um, for modding today. Hi, Julie. How are you? I love you. Um, 
Brianna Bogman, it's my birthday and I'm so happy to be here watching your live. You're so beautiful and watching you has helped me so much with my self-worth. That makes me so happy. Uh, Brianna, thank you so much for being here, for spending your birthday with us. Some, some happy birthdays to Brianna down below. Romy, I, 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 you are just the bravest soldier. Fighting it only by army. <laughs> like, thank you so much. You did not DM me a week ago, Static. You're so full of it. We're, oh, you did D mm. Oops. <laughs> I wish, sometimes I wish that my streams were videos and I could edit them. Um, but <laughs> I see that now, I do see that. Oh my God, sorry. Oh my God, sorry. I'm so used to crossing my legs, but now I have this mic arm here that's completely like, it's like elongated my table by so much. Oh my God. I think I, I think like starting to upgrade your, your, your stream stuff is like this never ending battle because you'll start with one thing and then realize like every other thing in your setup is like not right. I also hope the sound is okay. Coming up is a little loud in the levels, but. Fighting an only army. <laughs> Angel River also asks, how's our boy Riley? Um, he's okay. Um, he's okay. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not great, but. We're getting there. And I just truly believe that toe cancer will not be the thing to take this man out. He's 14 years old. He's lived through absolutely everything. He's lived through being a homeless doggy on the streets, eating out of trash cans until I took him in. And then he's gone everywhere with me and he's almost 14. And I just truly don't believe toe cancer will do it. Sometimes the vet thinks otherwise, but I don't. So, um, just a lot of complications, but I'm thankful that he's healing okay. Um, I kind of, there's part of me that wishes I didn't have to leave uh, now because I, he's just not healing as quickly as I had hoped, but he's in the loving care of one of my best friends who has watched him for years and years and years and years when I leave town and she is taking him to the vet um, pretty much every single day in the same way that I have been. Um, he's staying with the vet partially, so I feel hopeful, but also a little beaten down, if you can't tell, when it comes to the lad. Yeah, he's so strong. He's doing such a good job. He, um, he ate today for the first time, willingly, in a while. I said in the last stream that um, I had to cook for him every single day, and I still have to cook him chicken and rice every single day. Um, but for a while there, he wouldn't even eat the rice. It was like chicken only. And I was lucky if I got just enough in him to, um, to get the pills down his throat, like no appetite whatsoever. And unfortunately he has to remain on the same medication that I know is really hurting his tummy. But today for the first time, he ate his dog food. In addition, to, like, he also ate chicken. But he also ate his dog food. So I was, you know, I was, I was into it. Also, sorry, guys, I've not pinned the rules. Um, if you want to pop those in chat. Oh, there they are, Romy. Give me just a second. Uh, we are in the presence of our beautiful, wonderful mods who volunteer to keep our community safe and organized and all that jazz. So please listen to the rules. I have pinned them up above. Um, if you can't, there will unfortunately be timeouts and stuff, but it's literally just for the sake of keeping the channel safe, keeping you guys safe, keeping me safe. Um, yeah, it's all for you guys, I promise. Okay, I'm going back to... Yeah, he's hungry. He's a hungry man. My gosh, there's so many, you guys. 
Sorry, I need to hurry through these. But um, Gurus Draws, hi Aloe, hope you're having a wonderful night. Did you know there's an official Wally Darling plushie now? Keep slaying like always. Well, now I do. I'll have to check him out. He sounds like he's the most. Courtney Juice, Juice, <laughs> welcome to the channel membership. So very happy to have you. Uh, Maggie said, girl, go have fun and do what you need to. Thank you, honey. I honestly, too, there's going to be so much content from this trip. It literally is a work trip. Like, I, it's for, it's in the name of content. Um, like, there are certainly things that I'm doing for fun as well. But, man, I just realized something. Wait, wait, what day am I coming back? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it's not Sunday, but the Sunday after. Oh, you guys, you guys are in for such a surprise. It's absolutely insane. Like the things that you will know in the following like three weeks, the things that you will find out about that I have been working on just so <laughs> tirelessly for so long that are finally coming out. I was like, by my next stream, is it out? And I'm not sure if it is. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Uh, God, I'm so excited. Um, Jessica Nicole, also, thanks for joining the channel memberships. Also, Francisca Kuhn, thanks for joining the channel memberships. I'm just so excited. You guys are gonna, it's going to answer probably the most common question that I have been asked. Like the, the question that somebody has asked every single stream and I have said, I, I will have updates for you. I will tell you when I have them. I have more than updates. More than updates. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyways, <laughs> I feel like a little gremlin. <laughs> Um, let me turn my mic down a little bit. I feel like I'm like screaming at you guys. It's so much closer than I'm used to. Anyway, I won't cryptically <laughs> tease that for too much longer. Um, but yeah, I'm real excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. But maybe, maybe that is what it is. Um, Jessica Nicole, <laughs> I love you, Loie. I've been watching your videos for almost 10 years. This is my first live. Welcome, welcome, Jessica. Sorry it took me a while to get you to your super chat. So happy you're here, though. Love you so very much. <laughs> Uh, Angie C. Hello, gorgeous. Hope you had a great week and that Riley is healing up well. Love you so much and the hair looks fire. Thank you, my darling. I love you. I love you very much. Thanks for making stream. I hope your week was good. Uh, Lee Marty. Happy to see you today. It's been a rough week. I need this. I'm sorry, Lee. I hope it gets better. And I, I hope the weekend was a little kinder to you. But trust me when I tell you, I'm there with you. I am right there with you. <laughs> Holly. <laughs> Loie is Taylor's new opener. Yeah, <laughs> that's the secret is that I'm opening for Taylor Swift's uh, extra shows in the US. And I am just watching scary TikToks on stage to, <laughs> to get the crowd excited. Um, but I love you, Lee. Thank you for being here. Kit Stripes, first time catching your live. It's happening. Gonna be listening as I bake some brownies and do dishes. Literally third time trying to send. It's Mercury retrograde, dude. I think YouTube's being a little funny tonight too. So that makes sense. But enjoy your brownies. Maggie Mae, thanks for the gifted. Quincy said, glad I could catch the stream. You look great. Thank you, my darling. I'm also glad you could catch it. And then Jinto Binto. Hey, Loie. Hope you're having a lovely evening. I was wondering if you plan on making a plus size Halloween costume this year, a uh, video this year. I love you dearly. I am planning on that. I'm planning on that very, very much. I'm planning on that very much. Yes. Sorry. I'm just so excited for you guys to know what I've what I'm doing, what the kind of stuff that you're about to get, you will not want for plus size 
costumes, if that's what you're wondering. I will have so, so very many, actually. So many, so many. <laughs> it's going to be very fun. So yes, I will be making a lot of plus size Halloween costume uh, videos. You know, like, <laughs> just doing a lot of costumes. Maybe, maybe you could call it cosplay, you know? Like, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I love you, Jen Tobinzo. Retro Peach also said, I'm very drunk and very gay for you. I love you so much. I love you. I <laughs> love you. <laughs> I hope you're doing good. Loey, are you faded right now? No, I'm actually not. I'm dead sober. I just... I I am so excited to finally be able to show the things that I've been dreaming up behind the scenes and working on for so many months. And some of these questions just for the first time are like making me realize that by the time that next stream rolls around, like you may already know some of this or it's like around the corner. So I'm just, I, I guess like, I just feel like giddy, um, which is probably why I seem a little, I'm also kind of nervous, like I'm anxious, um, just because I think I said earlier, I just didn't feel up for streaming entirely. Um, but I would love to be faded. I truly would. <laughs> I really, really would. It just gives me such a, a bad anxiety right now. Like such bad anxiety. I think it's just because I'm anxious in general, but anyway. Kailantis, thanks so much for two months. I love you. Also, Kat said you're all good. I'm always interested to see how people try and replicate children's drawings. Plus, your streams just bring me so much joy regardless. I love you so much, Kat. Thanks for being here. Hootie also said, uh, happy four months, Hootie. You helped me survive 2020. I love you so much. I'm glad I could I could be there for you. Oh my god, no, it's okay, <laughs> my KO3. I, if you weren't looking for a serious answer to like whether or not I was faded. Um, but thank you guys very much for being faded for me. I miss it so desperately. So, 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 so desperately, it's crazy. I literally like last night smoked and also um, took like maybe like a third of a gummy and I literally had the craziest anxiety of my entire life. It was so sad. It was sad. But oh my K303. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Um binging your paranormal stories playlist. You want your videos in? Just watch the haunted cabin video. Did did this in a week. You're my comfort creator. Oh my god, what great timing. I love you so so much. You little angel. <laughs> Thanks for watching all my stuff. I kind of can't even imagine watching a playlist of videos like of mine like that. That's just crazy to even think about. But thank you so much. I'm glad you like them. Kelly Soros, also been waiting for this all day. You never fail to make my day better. You absolute angel you. I need more Lowy Lane and more IUL in my life. Very interesting. Um, I love you very much, Kelly. I love you very, 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 very much. Thanks for being here tonight. Clover also and Tinker B, welcome to the channel memberships. Happy to have you guys here. And then Maggie Mae said, one more thing, I was watching Bailey and Emma told me to turn her off and turn you on. But I do love the queen. I do love the queen, Bailey Sarian for life. That's my, that's my girl. But hi, Emma, if you're watching, I love you. Go Patriots! 99! Hi, Loie. Hope you had a good weekend. I, I had an okay weekend. Thanks for being here. I love you very much. Clover, thanks for the super chat. And then Bridgegate said you were the most pretty and genuine girl. That's so nice of you. That's so nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. Um. Also... I'm like squinting today, I just realized too, which probably does not help me beat the faded allegations. The lights just feel so bright. Like 
I have just, it has been a weird freaking week. I do not feel 100% like myself, but it's mostly because I have not left my house except to take care of my dog. Um, I haven't seen my friends. Like, it's just been weird. And everything that can go wrong has been going wrong. Good old Murphy's Law. So I think I just feel a little out of sorts. Not quite, oh, not quite as calm as I normally do for scream stream like normally too like my sundays are like this slow pace like i'm cleaning just a little bit you know before stream starts i'll clean up my space i'll clean my house today was like a i'm leaving my home for many many days so it needs to be like clean so there can be some like so that my pet sitter can stay here and you know things like that so it's just felt like kind of a hectic day um But um, one thing though, one thing is that I, oh, I don't want that to go anywhere. Are you swear? <laughs> I don't want you to fight anyone right now, but I'll, I'll keep that in mind. And the next time I have a problem with somebody, I'm gonna be like, hold on, and I'll call up Leah. I'll be like, hey, this person's really bothering me. And then you can come and beat them up. Same, honestly, I had to deal with a mini hurricane and I felt a little off today, so it's whatever. I just feel off. I just feel weird. I feel like my, okay, so like I would say the last, maybe, you know it's getting serious when the wig starts going back because I need it like out of my face to think. I would say the last maybe, well, since I started 75 Soft, so the last like four plus weeks of my life have been almost entirely dedicated to self-care. It's been all about for me making sure that I'm taking care of myself and prepping myself as much as humanly possible for October because I know that I will freak the fuck out as I always do in the month of October. Um, Clover, someone with no meshes. Oops, I'm anxious, you help. I love you so much. I'm sorry you had to send that again, but I love you. You're an angel, Clover. I'm also anxious. Um, but I would say like so much of my time has gone towards self-care and self-betterment. Um, and then I got to this place where it was like, and in my head I've already said this to you because I've been vlogging the entire 75 Soft experience. So you watch me go from like this really motivated version of myself, this really, I might need to get a blankie or something. It's kind of cold in here. Um, this really like motivated, driven, like get up and go version of myself, like ready to hit the ground running and um, just really focus on uh, self care. And that was my priority and it's what I was like fixating on. And then um, life, Life, like uh, an entire month does not just stay easy. It is not like you can just focus entirely on self-care and self-improvement and stuff like that. And like life stays calm and cool and collected. Like in the last month, Riley has been hospitalized, had this massive surgery I wasn't ready for. Gigi was diagnosed with um, like illnesses that I wasn't ready for. Like it just feels like the minute that things got hard, and I do know a lot of this is Mercury retrograde, at least I believe it is. It felt like the minute that things got really hard, like the last thing that I wanted to do was like take care of myself. And so I started to really resent all of these rules I had made for myself for, excuse me, 75 days. Like I would be editing a video. For example, working on a timeline, like getting things ready for a sponsor maybe, or making sure that I had a video go up in a week. And I would just like fight tooth and nail the fact that I needed to get up out of my chair and go work out for uh, for for the whatever, <laughs> like amount of time that I um, had set for that day. Or like all I would wanna do is order food in, but I have a rule that I'm like not really doing takeout except for one time um, <laughs> during these 75 days. And like I would resent, 
I would resent reading. I would resent all of these things that I decided a month ago that I wanted to do because I knew they would make me feel better and because I knew it would help me have a better life balance. And I started to resent them because my most comfortable place to be is work. Like the most comfortable place for me to be is just like nose deep in my job. And it's planning out videos, it's planning out the next project, it's um, like, it, it's, it's a lot of things where I'm like always in meetings and always, um, I don't know, just my work is very, very, very busy and I love it, I wouldn't trade it for anything, but like, it, it's been really weird for me to wrap my head around the fact that like, I think I resent taking care of myself as though I'm like a normal human being because I feel like that's not productive. It's not even that it's this field of work that like makes me hyper focus on work and makes me like feel like if I'm not working, I'm failing. Part of it is that, you know, if you take too long of a break from social media, you're going to see a dip in numbers and you're going to see, um, you know, things change a little bit, but I think that I would do this with anything. I think that if I had never started doing YouTube <laughs> and instead was working a very normal office job, I think it would be exactly the same way and that I would still really struggle with turning off and taking care of myself because my self-worth is rooted in um, how productive I'm being. I don't know why I started talking about that. I think it was like to go off of Mercury retrograde and to talk about like where I've been at headwise. I'm like fighting with myself on a daily basis because of rules that I made for myself to take care of myself. Like it's just been, it's been very weird. It's been a very big mental struggle. Um, and also, I've been playing a crap ton of Baldur's Gate 3. So Baldur's Gate 3 has been the only video game I've really been playing lately. I um, used to like play Overwatch every single night with a group of friends, but since they got busy, I just never carved out time to like play games or like decompress or anything like that, unless I was doing it on stream with like, you know, Static or um, Cap or Hecate or something like that. And that's always really fun and it is a bit of like an unwind but it's not like the same as when i'm on the couch in like my dinosaur onesie playing baldur's gate 3 and staring at asterion uh love of my freaking life so it's been nice to have something like that um but what i was gonna say is even then I like don't let myself play it for very long. <laughs> I just like can't. But when I'm when I'm putting off something else, that's when I'll play it. Like before stream, I was like, oh, just another half hour of Baldur's Gate 3. It'll be fine. <laughs> Which cannot be a healthy relationship to have with rest. Oh, I didn't even see whoever it was. I don't really care if you're bored. Like I don't, I didn't see whoever it was, but I, I very earnestly do not care if you're bored. I'm just hanging out. If you're bored, you may leave. And it sounds like you did. <laughs> it sounds like the mods forced you to. So, um, uh, Destiny Reigns, Halo, we caught up with Life of Luxury. I'm actually not. There's only been the one video, um, and I do want to watch it at some point. But I have no idea when. Um, I've been following Parker on Instagram and he's been talking about how like hard it is for them to produce Life of Luxury right now because they missed out on like like six months, like half a year of AdSense that like wasn't paid out to them by their network. So um, there's only the one video, but no, I haven't watched it. Retro Peach, still very drunk, very in love, currently at a drag show. Hope you and your pups have a wonderful spooky night. It was my birthday on Friday, so let me share with my favorite girl in the world. Oh, your birthday, and yet you are giving me the blessings? What is that? Thanks, Retro Peach. I love you so much. You're my favorite in the world. 
Jupiter said hello. I've had a rough week, but seeing your gorgeous smile has made it better. I love you so much. Thank you for being here and blessing us with your existence. I love you, Jupiter. You're so sweet. Thank you for blessing me with your presence. Also, Crow said if it helps, uh, if it is any help, pumpkin spice Cheerios are a thing now. You know, I love pumpkin spice everything. Don't get me wrong. Very standard, like, middle, middle-aged what? Am I middle-aged? I'm not going to think about that, actually. I have no concept. I'm just, like, a very, like, I do love pumpkin spice everything. Like a, like a traditional millennial. Let's go with that. Um... Like, I feel like I just love pumpkin spice everything, but I'm not going to lie to you. I have had the pumpkin spice Cheerios, I think, and I wasn't the biggest fan. I also have in the cupboard right now cinnamon Cheerios, and I don't like those either, which is kind of weird because I love like honey nut Cheerios and I like Cheerios in general. But I think there's something about the flavor on I'm a big like texture gal. There's something about the flavor and how it grabs onto the cereal feels a lot feels like a lot also venus says it makes a lot of sense that life has been weird lately because venus was just in record retrograde and now it's mercury's turn as i'm stuttering i can't even get out words i know i am so affected by stuff like this too i feel like every single time i end up noticing it so it it has been weird it has been weird also julie thanks for two months i love you very much thank you friend Danny said, hey, Lo, my girl dinner was cinnamon sugar toast. What is yours? Love you. Um, I do love cinnamon, by the way. I don't like dislike cinnamon. I just don't love like cinnamon Cheerios for some reason. There's something about the texture. Um, what was dinner? I don't think dinner's happened yet. I just realized. I had like quiche earlier. But I'm sure dinner will happen at some point. Okay, so usually for stream, we set a little self-care timer. We are hitting about 50 minutes and Riley does need to get um, a thing of meds really quick. So the self-care timer, let me quickly explain. Basically the concept is that I set this thing for an hour and then we are forced to like take a moment of self-care, like take a step back, go get some water, get a little snack, hang out, eat a moon pie, hang out. Like I, uh, I think it's really important, especially because we do these like every single Sunday to like prioritize self-care in some way. So we're gonna take a little break here. If you can for me, get yourself some water, please water. Please, Diet Coke, Dr. Pepper, doesn't count. Water, plain water, hydrate, okay? So get yourself some hydration, get yourself a snack if you need it, take your meds if you haven't already. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think, what else do I want you guys to do? Stand up, give yourself a little stretch. And yeah. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on a quick little BRB, but I will be right back and then we will get into the videos.
Okay. Hello. Okay. So, thank you so very much for taking that little menti health break with me. So proud of us. While I am still thinking of it. Go ahead and set that bad boy for an hour so that we know when we need to take a break next. I'm usually fairly good about it. Oh my God, I should have gotten a blanket or something. Should have gotten a blankie. I might actually grab one really quick. Hold on, one sec. <laughs> I'm leaving my mic on. So you can hear me run off to go get it. You know what I'm doing. Ooh, okay, and back. <laughs> uh, there we go. I have a blankie. It's my AT's tour blankie. Okay. I'm glad that I told you guys, by the way, <laughs> about my Asterian problem, like how obsessed I am with him, because it is like every single recommended video that I have on YouTube right now is just like something with Baldur's Gate 3. Guys, no, you're never too old to dress up for Halloween. Ever. You are never too old to dress up for Halloween. Okay. What am I? Oh, right there. Okay. I have it out of order. Okay. Molly, I'm sorry, honey. Okay. So, I think I already said this, but we... I literally don't remember how to freaking stream. I'm telling you. It has been... It's only been a week. I feel like because I started doing pretty, like pretty um regularly like streams twice a week really that i'm a little out of it like i'm a little out of practice today but here let me like that yeah okay so we are going to be watching the analog slash horror documentary, The Children with Black Eyes. This is from Vintage 8, and I really love this channel. We watched one of his other series here on YouTube called The Children Under the House, and I thought that was, like, super, super cool. Like, it was just so interesting, and the story was so well done. It was all told through, like... Um, through children's drawings, which I thought was like a really interesting and cool dynamic. Um, so it looks like the children with black eyes is something super, super similar here. Uh, this one also hasn't been watched as like much here on YouTube, but it's so good from everything that I've seen. So I'll go ahead and turn on closed captions. I don't, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't entirely know what to think about this, I don't think it's like the traditional like black eyed children's story, you know what I mean? I think it's more, um, I think it's like this 
own universe's story about these kids. Like I know there's some kind of experiments involved that they post about. So let me see how the audio is. So we get into it. He also narrates this one, the creator, which is kind of cool. Okay, 1992. I think this is good. I think we'll be good there. I think we will be. The last stream with creator was amazing. I cried. It was so good. It was so, 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 so good. Also, sweet and spicy. Welcome to the channel memberships. Happy to have you. Oh my god, Poppy Pamu, thanks for almost three years. That's freaking crazy. You and I have been at this for a minute. Okay. Okay, 1992, October 8th, Kate's Crossing, Louisiana. Oh, family slaughtered. Police chief says crime scene is the most horrific he's ever seen. Entire Peterson family murdered. Okay, we are off to a startling beginning. Candidate for school board and family murdered. Nine-year-old Daniel Peterson missing. Brother of victim wanted for questioning. Harold's brother, Greg Peterson, is chief suspect. Suspect found. And who did they find? Greg Peterson, maybe? Is that who? Is that how I understood? Yeah, okay. And he was given the death penalty. Wow. And he claims the black-eyed children took Daniel and killed the brother and sister-in-law. Greg Peterson's last words... Beware the black-eyed children. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is based on, like, the original myth of the black-eyed children. Interesting. Wait, I'm so excited about this. It already looks so creepy. Much has been said about the murder of Wendy and Harold Peterson, the disappearance of their son, Daniel, and the arrest of Harold's brother, Greg Peterson. Some consider it an open and shut case of a robbery gone wrong. Others say Greg was jealous of the life his brother had. Many believe it was a fight that just got out of hand. Um, can you guys, can you hear okay? Are we good? <laughs> Are we good? Can you hear me? Are we all good? Also, Kit said that I'm right. Sis and I have been dressing up for four Halloweens uh, to pass out candy together for years. Examples of what we've done, Anna and Elsa, Sanderson sisters, and Marvel versus DC. Planning on Super Mario 4 this year. That's so cute, Kit. Oh my God, I love that. That's so fun. Also, Inez, I love you too. I love your hair. I love you. Question of the day. What's one thing you're proud of yourself uh, this week? Honestly, just keeping my head on with Riley being at the vet like every five seconds, I think is the thing that I'm proudest of, of, of myself at this point. Okay. Can't hear really well. Maybe up a little bit more then. And then there are those who believe that what happened that yeah, night was something else entirely. Like there? Something not so easy to explain. The audio is a little, little quiet in general, but 
Let me turn you up as high as I can. Okay. Others say Greg was jealous of the life his brother had. Many believe it was a fight that just got out of hand. And then there are those who believe that what happened that night was something- that's good. Is that okay? Like if I were to kind of talk with that? Something not so easy to explain. I don't think I'll, I, I'm trying to get better about not talking over the videos, you know? Okay, we're good, a little loud. Eh, yeah, no. All right. ...of a robbery gone wrong. Others say Greg was jealous of the life his brother had. Many believe it was a fight that just got out of hand. And then there are those who believe that what happened that night was something else entirely. Something not so easy to explain. For that story, we need to look at the journals of Daniel Peterson. Most of what he wrote seems to be the result of an overactive imagination. Perhaps there is more truth to these child stories than the ones we accept as fact. But we will let you be the judge. Harold and Wendy Peterson were well-known and well-liked in the community. Harold was a very successful insurance agent, and many people in the community thought he was going to win his election for school board. Wendy was very involved with the Cates Crossing Catholic Church, as well as many other local charities. Teachers said Daniel Peterson was a very shy, creative, and incredibly sweet child. He didn't have many friends, and preferred to spend his lunches in the library. Daniel was also a victim of bullying. Despite his complaints, little was done. The administration's lax approach is what led Harold to run for school board. Crossing, and this is the Peterson home. Wow, the illustrations are really cool. September 8th. Today was another bad day. Jake and his idiot friends ambushed me in the bathroom. Again. They gave me another swirly. Oh, terrible. Now everyone is calling me poo poo hair. Man, you deserve. Oh no, not the poo poo hair. This is terrible. Wow, what what an illustration. Jake uh, should have been a snake, Stevens. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I wish they'd leave me alone. I should tell dad, but I hate the way he looks at me when I do. It's like he's ashamed that I can't defend myself. When he asked me how my day was, I just told him it was good. I did get the highest grade on the math test. I just made sure I showered before he got home. Oh. Uncle Greg showed up at dinner. I like Uncle Greg. He's so much more fun than Dad. Oh, boy. I don't know why Dad calls him a hopeless bum. The good news, he's going to be staying with us for a few weeks. Best part is Dad will be focused on him and not me for a change. Is the, are the captions here helpful or like because it's all on screen, should I just keep them up? Or like because it's also like, is it, is this more clear for people? Oh. I 
can't tell. They're helpful. Okay, then I'll leave them. Just wanted to double check. All right, cool. September 8th continued. Dad hammered Uncle Greg. I've never seen someone take so much abuse. I think he almost oh cried. Uncle Everybody Greg, went no. to bed not long after. That's when things got kind of weird. Sometime doors. around midnight, I heard something wandering around the kitchen. I went to check it out, but no one was there. The front door was open, though. I found Uncle Greg standing in the front yard, just staring at the sky. Okay, is that... That's Uncle Greg? Or is that Daniel, the kid? Do we know yet? The kid's name is Daniel, right? Am I crazy? Uncle Greg. Daniel Peterson is the kid. Yeah, okay. So, no, this is Daniel seeing Uncle Greg out there. And Uncle Greg is just staring at the sky. And his eyes are real creepy. I really didn't know what to do. So I tried talking to him. I didn't want to ask Dad for help. I asked him what he was looking at. He didn't reply. He just pointed at the stars. Uncle Greg loves stargazing. He's just like me. I eventually got him back to his room. He didn't say anything until I got him back in bed. He looked at me and he was very scared. He said, they've come back. I asked what came back. You'll see, he replied before passing out. Why does this crap happen on a school night? <laughs> oh well, I have bigger problems to worry about. I need to figure out how to get through the day without ending up face first in the toilet again. Yeah, it sounds like Daniel's going through it. September 9th. Is that today? I asked Uncle Greg what he was Not looking today, at September last 10th. night. I kind of got the sense he had no idea what I was talking about, though. Sorry, I just realized I was talking right over that. I'm trying so hard to get it about, uh, better about it. I have bigger problems to worry about. I need to figure out how to get through the day without ending up face first in the toilet. Again. September 9th. I asked Uncle Greg what he was looking at last night. I kind of got the sense he had no idea what I was talking about, though. Mm. But he had spiral eyes, so you know something wasn't right. <laughs> Part one, Uncle Greg. I think that this is like a master um, list of all of the videos that were in this series. So I think we're going to have credits after every single one, but that was really interesting. I'm like, I'm very, I want to just keep going into the next video because it's just like, I don't know. It's really, really interesting. Produced by Kate's Crossing Tourism Department. Journals provided by relatives of the Peterson family. Articles provided by the Kate's Crossing Courier. Huh, so it like stays in universe. Happy late birthday, Hotaka. Hotka? I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Hotaka, I think it's right. Stinger or Singer School Board. 
When Harold started pulling in front of incumbent Mike Singer, the race for school board became incredibly nasty. Singer had been on the board for the last decade and was generally liked. So it was a surprise to see so many voters give their support to the challenger. Neither were above making political digs on the other. And on several occasions, the two candidates nearly came to blows. The most known of the two was a shouting match oh, in the middle of the I'm Burger so Shacks. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rebel. You're so right. I completely did not realize that there was an age in the chat, and I responded to it. Um, sorry, guys. I know ages, but happy belated birthday, Azaka. I'm sorry. I should have said that when I uh, when I called it out. Okay. Decade and was generally liked, so it was a surprise to see so many voters give their support to the challenger. Neither were above making political digs on the other, and on several occasions the two candidates nearly came to blows. The most known of the two was a shouting match in the middle of the Burger Shack's lunch crowd. The race for the Kate's Crossing School Board had never been so exciting. Part 2, Peter Pan. This is such a good one so far. God, Vintage 8. His stuff is just so good. September 15th. Unfortunately, I think poo poo hair is permanent. Great. It'll probably end up on my tombstone. Daniel, don't say that. No. No. That's not who you are, Daniel. You're not poo poo hair. You're so much more than poo poo hair. They even made up a song for me. He's got poo in his hair. It stinks and he doesn't care. So hold your nose when Daniel's near, or he'll bring your eyes a tear. Because he's got poo in his hair. Wow. Not gonna lie, it's catchy when a group sings it. Daniel, don't take this sitting down. You're more than poo in your hair. I hate it here. I wish Dad would lose the election. Sorry, guys, I'm Maybe we move that. somewhere. I hate it here. I wish Dad would lose the election. Maybe we'd move somewhere better, like anywhere on Earth. I'd even settle for someplace off-world, too. Like Mars. Uncle Greg is still sleepwalking. Every night, I find him staring at the sky. I still have no idea what he's looking at. I've even found him out there in the rain. Dealing with him makes the mornings pretty hard. Makes class a little harder than I'd like. Thankfully, Dad's been focused on campaigning. Most of the time, he's talking to people, putting signs on roads, and whatever else. Mom's usually with him, so it's mostly Uncle Greg and me. Okay. Really, it's just me. Uncle Greg just stares at the television. Dad yelled at him last night because of it. Dad really is loud when he wants to be. Typical dad. Though the louder he gets, the more I think he cares. Mom says he has problems expressing himself. What is Uncle Greg seeing in the stars? Is it the black eyed children? Are they aliens? Is he seeing them on their descent? It's just, oh! Wait, are those people in the windows? Wait, is that what it was? September 17th. Well, today was a weird one. I found Uncle Greg talking to the TV. Just had static on the screen. Weird. I he just had static on the screen? He was watching popular streamer Static GN? Sounds like he has taste. Also, Eddie Spaghetti, thanks for two months. Is it the Burger Shack from the last one we watched? Stop, not the Burger Shack. Oh my God, real. September 17th. Well, today was a weird one. Found Uncle Greg talking to the TV. Just had static on the screen. Weird. Weird. I asked him who he was talking to. He got mad at me because I couldn't hear it. 
He grabbed me, said the voices were telling him to do things, do things he didn't want to do. Eventually went back to watching TV. I think Uncle Greg had a nervous breakdown or something. That sounds about right, Daniel. You are wise beyond your years. But the static does appear to be implementing itself into his brain. So... September 18th. I had to jot this down the moment I woke up or I might have forgotten about it. Last night I had this weird dream, but it didn't feel like a dream. It was so clear, like a memory. It happened around midnight, I think. It started with a low hum. It got louder and louder until this bright red light blasted through the window. And that's when he appeared. He? At first I thought, oh my god, Peter Pan is in my bedroom. He was floating there. He was green. Oh. Oh my god, like actual Peter Pan. But make it horror. A little green guy. Peter Pan was an alien. Stop. He had no mouth I could see. But I could hear him speaking to me. Some of it felt like words, but mostly I remember images. Confusing, but intense images. Wait, Static said, uh, Louie, this guy sounds like Roz, the receptionist from Monsters, Inc. I need you to know this. Static, you are so real. And I've never put... I, I've never even thought about that character outside of like the Monsters Inc. ride. So it's incredible that you clocked that, but you're just right. Also, I have a replay of the stream on my other screen and it just popped up with like a face and it scared the crap out of me. I'm actually sufficiently freaked out. It really does sound like Roz though. Static, you're so smart. Peter, <laughs> the horse is here. The following images are in the order in which Daniel arranged them. Is this Daniel's therapist talking? I don't know. Or is this like a documentary? So... The kid, there's Red, and then there's Daniel. That's Daniel and then the, the Peter Pan kid. Wait. They're eating brains? Did this happen? Or are these just images that Daniel is being shown? Success failure. I'm sorry. Who are these people? Are these his parents? have been tampered with. He's tampering with brains. Danger. What is going on? Someone's behind bars. The alien is confusing me. I don't know what's happening. Danger. Who is danger? Who's in danger? singer school board is that the singer person danger is the opponent is the peterson what love and light but what is happening right now i'm so confused he said choose is like i don't get it i'm confused so i'm watching it again hoping it'll make more sense choose choose 
what? Us or them? Or just over and over. Those the parents? Oh my god, it got so loud. I will return for an answer. I don't understand. I don't either. Yes, you do. I do? Do I? Maybe I do. And then he left. That morning, Uncle Greg woke me up. There was a weird glow. And then he left. That morning, Uncle Greg woke me up. There was a weird glow in his eyes. He smiled, told me, now you see them too. Has Uncle Greg, was Uncle Greg visited by aliens? Was it Uncle Greg's brain that we saw getting screwed with by Peter Pan? This one was confusing. This one really confused me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't think I get what the Peter Pan alien is trying to say to I don't get it. I don't get it. And I'm hoping that it makes more sense in the next one. Red is Daniel. Okay, wait. Ollie said, Loie, red is Daniel talking and green is Peter Pan. I mean, I, like, oh my God, excuse me. I kind of thought that part, especially like here, like the I will return for an answer. And then, of course, like, it's Daniel saying I do. But like, here, where... It came up as choose, and then choose what? Like, that was, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's really good. I'm so into it. I'm just a little bit confused at <laughs> this current juncture, which makes a lot of sense because I'm permanently pretty confused. Um, also, respectfully, what incarnation exactly, Alyssa? Exactly. What incarnation? Okay. Bye, Kylantis. Love you so much. We will have a great rest of stream, but have a good rest of your day. These children are giving alien energy so true. Okay, so they're in class one day. Teachers were usually quite fond of Daniel. They often called him the ideal student. He was well-mannered and his grades were consistently the highest in his class. However, Daniel had trouble fitting in with other children since the beginning of his education. He was never interested in the same things that his peers were, and Daniel often felt more comfortable around adults. Daniel sounds just like me, personally. Part three, the new Daniel. So the Daniel that sees them too, as Uncle Greg put it. Vote for Peterson School Board. There's Daniel and his September dad. September 19th. Thank God it's Saturday. Or at least it would be if I didn't have to help dad campaigning. Putting up signs doesn't bother me, but I'd rather not be paraded around as some sort of lost cause. Defending your kids as if they were my own. Can you guess how he came up with that one? At least it did get my mind off last night. It was hard not to obsess over it. 
the, the Strange. Peter Pan it of it all? It didn't scare me. Everything scares me. But Peter didn't. I could tell that it cared for me. It wanted my friendship, I think. It was like it was family. Like a long lost cousin, maybe. I think it's interesting that Daniel had that feeling. Does that mean that Daniel? He was right too. Is like one He's of understanding them. Understanding the images better. Peter wanted me to come with them. Where? I have no idea. But definitely away from here. Can't lie. Sounds like a big plus to me. It was clear that they did something to Uncle Greg, Dad, and me. That's why I don't fit in with other kids. And I like other kids. Something else. Part of me must be like Peter. Honestly, it's kind of a relief. At least I have a reason to feel so alien. If I stay, I would have a chance at a normal life. But do I even want that? Would I ever want that? Maybe not. I don't want to hurt my parents. If... If they were to take his brains... But why? Were we just experiments? Why was Dad and me considered a success and Uncle Greg a failure? Poor Uncle Greg. Even the aliens give him a hard time. So, what we were watching before... Okay. So what we were watching before, what were the surgeries that the Peter Pan alien was like showing in his mind? You can see like the ones where, um, okay. So this is what Peter Pan was showing. These surgeries, right? And we saw most of them were success, but some of them were not success. And is that right there, Uncle Greg? Like, is Uncle Greg for some reason the failure? Is Uncle Greg for some reason the danger? And also, what the hell? <laughs> also, what the hell? Um, okay. Is I here ish? Give him a hard time. And what about mom? Did they experiment on her too? Okay. If so, what did they do to her? I if must not, why? have missed that aspect of it, that like they were experimenting on that family. Like I thought I recognized those characters, but definitely what this, what Peter Pan is telling them, what the black eyed child disguising itself as Peter Pan is saying, I think is that they were all experimented on and everyone was a success but Uncle Greg. And something is not right with Uncle Greg. And he is the danger. At least I think so. That's what I'm gathering so far. And then there's the danger. I don't think they understand what's going on between Mr. Singer and Dad. I can see why they would think it was a dangerous situation. Earlier today, we saw Mr. Singer tossing some of Dad's campaign signs into the woods. So Mr. Singer is the danger? Because <laughs> he's, he's desperate to win this school board, Dad, baby. Dad, of course, exploded. Ooh. Maybe that's part of his, his Peter Pan brain surgery, is his head emits <gasps> the Burger Shack! Oh my god! The Burger Shack! This is from the last one that we watched from Vintage 8. Spooky. He follows him into the Burger Shack, screaming loud, very loud. Dad called him a lot of ugly things that can be found in the dictionary. Ha 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 ha. Oh dear. To his credit, Singer just laughed it off. That's when Dad pulled him close. Earl mentioned something about the Dunnington Construction Company. 
I couldn't understand anything except something about exposing it. Whatever. This sounds stupid. That set Mr. Singer off. It's kind of embarrassing to watch. But if you did see it, I'm sure you thought they were going to kill each other. Oh boy. No, not the men fighting. September 20th. I waited all night for Peter to come, but never did. Never showed? September 21st. Nothing to report. Still nothing from the aliens. Mm -hmm. September 22nd. Nope. September 23rd. Maybe he's not coming back. Oh, September he's 24th. Going to. No alien, but today was a big one. I don't know if I just had enough or if I was just tired, but when Jake pushed me today, I just snapped. I hit him. And I Bye, Gento Bento. Love you. Love you. Never hit anybody before. Oop. I hit him. I never hit anybody before, but I finally hit him. I broke his nose. I even cracked one of his ribs. He tried to fight back, but he moved so slowly. It was easy. It really surprised me. Why did I wait so long to stand up for myself? Does Daniel have superhuman strength because of the brain surgeries that are happening in the middle of the night? Is that what we're saying? One of the kids finally pulled me off. That was the first time I really saw what I did. Jay was crying and his face was covered in blood. Lots of blood. I just knew Dad was going to be proud of me. I got suspended for three days. Doesn't seem fair. I suffer for months and nothing happens. But the moment I defended myself, I get suspended. I hate this place so much. Daniel. So what if he had to go to the hospital? You're more than a poo-poo head. Maybe next time he'll think twice before giving someone a swirl. You're more than the poo in your hair, Daniel. You showed him his lesson. Maybe you could speak up a tiny bit, though. I'm, I, I can't well, that, hear you. He was anything but proud. Angry, mad, hot-headed, insane, crazy. Those words probably described him a lot better. Dad sounds like he's mad a lot. He said I may have ruined his chances at school, but... Oh, I forgot about wow. that. Thanks, Dad. Glad to know where I rank. And Mom, she was no better. The only thing she cared about was the hospital bills. I guess it was better for everybody when I was bullied. That's gotta suck so bad. For Daniel, actually, like realizing that, that like his dad has an alliance with like making sure that he keeps up appearances for this school board thing. Um, Sleepy Gal, this is the first time I've been able to catch in a few weeks and I'm severely confused but not disappointed. Hope all is well. Love you, Sleepy Gal. Glad you made it. And then Kate Luxor, thanks so much for six months. This is some freaky stuff. It's interesting though. So real. And then Cosette, welcome to the channel memberships. Happy to have you here. Love you so much. No game tonight, bad gal. We're watching, uh, we're watching some sc a scary, like, documentary, like scary kids drawings. I just saw somebody who, oh, there it is, Music Gizmo. Hey, glad you made it to a live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy you're here. That night, Peter came back. What is your choice? What, what does, what? I don't understand what Daniel's choosing. I choice have is. questions. Answers are for those who say yes. You will forget the questions if you choose no. So basically, Peter asked me to choose between my Earth family and my newly discovered alien one. After That's the not awful a good day sign. I had, only one choice made sense. That's not a good sign, but I understand why Daniel is going to choose them. After the awful day I had, only one choice made sense. I chose the one that wanted me. And that makes sense. I chose Peter. 
He replied with a bright red light. It struck me in the forehead. Oh. My head was flooded with so many things. I couldn't process everything. It was just too much. Baby? Family collectors, they have been here longer than us. I'm saved. We aren't experiments. Love, angels, tomorrow, future. There are many. Oh my god. Is that Uncle Greg? Uncle Greg burst into my room. He swung a bat at Peter, and blood splattered across the wall. I think Peter died instantly. Whoa! 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 That was surely an escalation. But also, was something really terrible Last about to happen to Daniel? Last thing I remembered before. Like, I'm so what what the hell? I blacked. Last thing I remembered before I blacked out was Uncle Greg. He was glaring at me. I've never been scared of Uncle Greg before. And after what he did to Peter, I really thought he was going to kill me. Understandable. If he just came in there smashing in heads. Oh wow. Uncle Greg does not look like a like an innocent little stargazer anymore. He does indeed look like a deranged man with <laughs> with uh, spirals, red spirals in his eyes. Part three, the new Daniel. This is getting juicy. We're like a little bit over halfway done. Also, our self-care timer is at like, like 13-ish minutes, so that's when we'll take our next break. I'm like fascinated by this. So the black-eyed children are aliens, and they're like taking over bodies here, but I don't even understand the purpose of it, and is Daniel already one of them? Did Uncle Greg already know that? Also, is Uncle Greg, like, good? Why is he killing children? It's giving FNAF. Conscious, my mind was still what? receiving yeah. images. I saw things I could never dream of. Different viewpoints of things I thought I understood. It was both amazing and terrifying. So it doesn't even matter that Peter has been killed off by Greg because like it's already been done like Daniel I saw why they considered this. Uncle Greg a failure his DNA didn't meld with theirs successfully oh, it caused him issues that's why he was a failure because they tried to like 
I guess, like, do the surgery, do the brain surgery, make him one of them, but it didn't work. This may seem cruel, but Peter's people are far from cruel. They're beyond war, greed, indifference. Us. They tried to repair their mistakes, but apparently it didn't work. Uncle Greg just became more withdrawn, depressed, unpredictable. But he's still in tune with them. He can hear them speaking when they are near. Oh. Uncle Greg is freaking me out. I'm not gonna and lie Dad, to you. They asked Dad to go with them years ago. He chose to stay. Wow, I wouldn't be here if he decided to go. They wiped his mind so he wouldn't remember. And then they just waited for me. So did they take wait? So the black eyed children are like obsessed with this family then, right? Because if they tried to take the dad and they tried to take Uncle Greg, who I think is the dad's like actual biological brother. If they tried to take them both and then waited specifically for Daniel, do these aliens have some kind of like, oh, sorry. Do these aliens have some kind of like weird tie with this family? I'm so, hey. oh my God, confused. <laughs> As I yawn, the biggest yawn of all time. Oh my gosh. Um, Colt Bunny, thank you so much for the super chat. I love ya. Thank you, thank you for that. I very much so appreciate it. Happy birthday, Shaneen. Happy birthday. I hope I said that right. Hope you had a great day. Yeah, something to do with her DNA, maybe, Lou 100 said. I think that might be it. He chose to stay. Wow, I wouldn't be here if he decided to go. Oh, oops, I think I moved around too far. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe that is the DNA that's so special. We're not the first. They have done this before, many, many times and in many other families, other species, planets, and for thousands of years. It really is incredible. Basically, they're collectors. They look for qualities they like in other species and then add it to their own. It's how they choose to evolve. It's giving, it's giving mind flayer tadpoles from Baldur's Gate 3. Am I just obsessed with Baldur's Gate 3 that I'm like mind flayers? <laughs> I'm just like, this, this sounds just like this game that I play called Baldur's Gate 3. And also it's just a dating sim. <laughs> also Colt Bunny, thanks so much. Uh, hi, Louie, happy late birthday. Hope you had fun. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you. The big 3-0, I've been, oh, sorry mods. Put me in jail. I think it's just Rebel right now. So Rebel, you can put me in jail if you want to. Love you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. It was a bit ago, but better late than never. I appreciate you. I love you. Okay. I can see why they are drawn to Kate's Crossing. They keep a close eye on it. I believe it's a prison for the first and last enemy. That's why this place sucks. Something's wrong with the town? Is that what it is? Not their DNA, it's like the town? Is that a spaceship? Is that a spaceship? 
buried beneath the earth? Peter's death shocked them. They rarely die violently. I can still feel their loss, their hurt. Millions upon millions continue to mourn him. And that's when I woke up. So Daniel realized all of this, I guess, while he was still knocked out, maybe? Uncle Greg was standing over me. Yeah. I figured this was the end. I thought the danger warning was about Mr. Singer. But now I think they were talking about Uncle Greg. I always thought he was harmless, but what he did to Peter wasn't harmless. Does that mean he's gonna do the same thing to me if he finds out I'm one of them? Don't let them in your head. It messes you up. Where is Peter? The alien? I toss it into the woods. Don't need to freak out your dad. This needs to remain our little secret. Most people get freaked out when you talk about aliens. Okay? So is that why Greg's been staring at the, the I was gonna say the ceiling. The next day I was sick. So like, is that why Greg kept staring at the stars all the time? Was he like seeing the black eyed children? Was he like defending the house? Is he like a dog? Like, what happened? Oh, sorry, I have a hair. There we go. Every muscle ache. The next day I was sick. Every muscle ached. Was I dying? Daniel, dude. He gets bullied at school. He gets bullied at home. His uncle killed his only friend. Like, ever. I immediately noticed things were different. I could hear things I couldn't before. Thoughts? I knew things I should. Things that shouldn't be possible. I was changing. Oh my god, vampire metamorphosis. Two more aliens, aliens. came that night. They told me to say my goodbyes and that they would return at the end of the year to retrieve me earlier if there was a problem. So he is like one of them and he's gonna go home. I immediately wondered if I made the right decision. I felt selfish for a moment, but just for a moment. The things I would see and do were just impossible to pass up. And then they were gone. September 27th, home in bed. I still feel awful. I'm moving around. Parents aren't speaking to me. What do they think happened? And also, is the mom one of them too? September 28th. Second day of my five-day suspension. Mom had me doing chores. She didn't say much, but I could hear some of her thoughts. She was thinking about the vacation we would have to cancel due to Jake's hospital bills. Worth it. Day three, dusted the furniture. I noticed Uncle Greg- Jake is the bully, by the way. For a second, I was like, who is Jake? But Jake was the bully that he beat the crap out of. So now they don't get to go on vacation, boo hoo. Worth it. Day three, dusted the furniture. I noticed Uncle Greg has been watching me. Does he suspect something? I tried to read his mind, but I couldn't. We went to the grocery store after lunch. I couldn't read any stranger's mind either. I guess I need practice. September 30th, day four. More campaigning with dad, fun. He didn't say much, but I heard him loud and clear. Last day of suspension. 
Rake the leaves in the morning, then back on the campaign trail with Dad in the afternoon. We ran into Singer again. He actually apologized to Dad. It was shockingly nice. Too nice. He even took us to a late lunch. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Why is he being so friendly? I'm starting to think the reason it's easier to read my parents' minds is because they're my parents. So, I don't think that the narrator read this out, but Daniel starts this off by saying, I couldn't read his thoughts either. Then says, I'm starting to think the reason I can read my parents' minds easier is because they're my parents. But I was getting something from this guy. Every time he said something nice, it felt like an insult. The nicer he acted, the more it bothered me. It's passive aggression, But kid. I kept trying, and then it happened. A stray thought from Mr. Singer's head popped into mine. It'll be all over soon. Something about that comment felt wrong. It's all in your head. Okay, I think we probably have like maybe like two more videos left. If that, it might just be one very long one. I think it's just one really long one that we have left. I went ahead and put the self-care timer on pause just while we finished that, but we only had a few minutes left, so. <laughs> so I think that we are going to take another self-care break, friends. I just want us to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves um, in between you know, these long periods of like sitting here and, and watching these videos. So I'm going to run to the bathroom. Make sure that if you have not already today, uh, drink some water. I'd like you to drink water anyway. No Diet Coke. No Dr. Pepper. Water. Um, take your meds if you haven't already. Get yourself a snack. Get yourself a little something to eat if it's been a while. And then when I come back, we'll finish out this video. But here, let me pick out some some fun music for you guys. All right. Be right back, friends. Love you so much.
Hello. I didn't realize I was still muted. I got lint on my little on my little um mic. Can I ask you guys a question? I feel like I constantly get the comparison of like looking a little bit Lindsay Lohanny. You know what I mean? Um, do you actually think I do with this hair color? That's part of the reason that I put on this hair today. Because I was like, do I actually look a little bit like Lindsay Lohan? And sometimes I do kind of see it. She's so pretty. Um, I cannot thank you enough, Romy and Rebel, for being here tonight. We had a, uh, I, at first I was like, are we going to have anybody here tonight? Because we are a little, little understaffed and I started later than I meant to, so. Also, guys, I take the whole self-care timer thing, like, very seriously. Like, I think that there is, I think that there's so much room for us to take self-care breaks in these streams. I know it can be like, oh, I want to move on and, like, you know, do other things. But I was just taking a quick break. I hope you guys did, too. Um, Digi said I'm getting Jennifer Lawrence TBH. Oh, my God. Thanks, Digi. I love you so much for that. That's so kind. 
Wow, lucky me. They're both beautiful. Okay, so let's finish this bad boy off. Give everyone a second to get back in, just in case they took a break too. I don't know why I turned off the music. Jesse, you got this. You got water and went potty. Holly, thank you. The self-care timers helped me too. We're trying to prioritize ourselves in 2023, baby. We're trying our hardest. I love you very much. I hope you're having a good night. Um, okay. Some people are getting back. Jenna, I love you. You're breathtaking, you little angel. You sweet baby. I love you so much. Thank you for that. Oh my god, wait. Angel numbers everywhere, guys. Sorry, I was trying to I was trying to very discreetly put my windows back in this at the correct place and it's not working. Oh my god, I had it so good for so long. And then it just I moved it. Crap. I was so impressed with myself. My screen felt so organized. Alrighty. Alright, let's finish her off. I think we're on the last video of this. Man, Robert Walsh has been editing all of these. Like an icon. Chat is simply sneaking in frame a little bit. <laughs> excited to see how this ends i'm so into this story it was really 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 good vintage eight just does it different man stuff is incredible also digi said for my fellow antidepressants and anxiety med takers drink lots of water our meds are notorious for dehydrating ya so true she said immediately guzzling water Looks like the whole Peterson family is at dinner with dad and mom. October 3rd. And just like that, everything was back to normal. Uncle Greg started acting normal. Mom took me to Blockbuster for movie night. Been a while since we did one of those. Dad apologized for making the fight about the election. A rare cool move from dad. Of course, they're all getting cool right as he's At healthy. dinner time, they even told me that they were proud that I finally stood up for myself. This is Hell so weird. Of course, they're finally acting like his family now that he's about to like go off and live with his alien family. Also, Colt Bunny, welcome to the channel membership. So happy to have you here. The music has been so good. This one is so, like, Vintage 8 is just so criminally underrated. Like, this channel is one of the best analog horror channels I've ever seen. Like, just the production value, the illustrations, everything is good. A rare cool move from Dad. At dinner time, they even told me that they were proud that I finally stood up for myself. However, breaking Jake's ribs was a step too far. Fair enough. We can agree to disagree. Eh. You give a man a swirly every day for years, and maybe he's going to break your ribs. I, it's a give and take. I personally don't think Daniel did anything wrong. Uh, maybe, maybe he did. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be advocating for that. For a brief moment, we were all kind of normal. It's nice. But 
It's easier to leave mad. Much easier. Yeah. But I know there's no going back on choosing Peter's people. I'm changing, and eventually the outside will match what's happening on the inside. Wait! I just realized at the beginning of this series when Daniel is talking about how, like, he thinks life would be easier, he would be bullied less and stuff if they moved somewhere other than, like, where they're currently living. And he says during that, he's like, well, if we just moved anywhere, if dad lost the election and we moved anywhere, we could move to another town, another state, hell, maybe even somewhere outside of Earth. Remember? Remember he was like, we could move anywhere on Earth or off of it, too. It was foreshadowing because he was going to go live with his alien brethren. Spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Vote for Peterson School Board. Is that is that the mom somebody is making a bet i hope dad wins the election i hope mom gets to travel more i'm not sure if it's against the rules but i'm gonna come back and visit them one way or another i'm gonna make sure they're okay oh honey they're not they don't end up being okay daniel even school was pleasant the kids were actually friendly for once. Everybody was so amazed at what I did to Jake. They all gave me high fives in the lunchroom. So now life's gonna get good. I even got high fives from Jake's friends. Now life's gonna get good. Why did everyone wait until I decided to leave to be friends? I guess that's my fault. I shouldn't have let a bully scare me away from the world. October 5th, and just when I thought things were getting back to normal, Uncle Greg returned to his old ways. Oh my god. Uncle Greg, are we good here? Oh no. Uncle Greg lunged at me during breakfast. Why are they coming for you? He asked over and over. That forced him off of me. I'm surprised Mom didn't have a heart attack. They fought until Dad threw him out. Oh my god. This is the fight, isn't it? That ends everything. Well, it's the... I, I think that it's why the, the police end up thinking it could be a fight that goes wrong. Because that's how bad it got towards the end. Because Uncle Greg is freaking the hell out. Dad told him to leave or he'd call the cops. Uncle Greg started crying. I have to protect you. Don't you understand? I have to protect you now. He repeated himself until he finally got in his truck and left. Poor Uncle Greg! Later that night, we got a call that Uncle Greg was making a scene at a bar. Sounded like he was pretty drunk. He knows there are aliens and he knows that they're going to take his nephew away. Honestly, I want to hate Uncle Greg, but he's not wrong. They called the cops and threw him in jail as a favor to dad. Politics. They said he'd be out in the morning. Damn. Poor Uncle Greg. October 6th. Great day. For me, at least. Dad tried to have a talk with Uncle Greg at the Burger Shack. And it didn't go well. Uncle Greg yelled at Dad, told him that he didn't understand what was going on. He apparently told Dad that the black-eyed kids, they saw his kids were real, and that I might be one of them. The visitors that they had as children that did creepy surgeries on them and made them fellow aliens. Dad, of course, didn't believe any of it, but I could tell he was shaken. Uncle Greg is his brother, after all. Dad confessed that he hadn't thought about those nightmares in years. I asked him what made them so scary. He just shook his head and told me to forget about it. But I could see in his head. He remembers the experiments. Pieces. 
but he remembers. October 7th, war campaigning. Okay. I noticed a green spot on my back. I guess my true self is revealing itself. You're an alien. Last night I saw Uncle Greg staring at the house. He was far away and at the foot of the driveway. But that was him glaring in my direction. It's like he's waiting on something. Probably me. Or my new family. Creepy. Oh my god, Uncle Greg. It's so, it's so scary and so sad to know how this ends from the first episode. And over the course of the series, it's just looming. Like, how are we going to get there to where this family is like murdered, like mass murdered? The animation is so cool also. But I could hear a thought in the distance. Protection. October 7th continued. I woke to find Uncle Greg standing over me. He broke in. Oh no! He grabbed me by the hand and yanked me out of the room. He wrapped my face in tape before I could scream. Poor Daniel. I fought and fought. But we were outside the house before I knew it. He tossed me into the bed of his truck and whispered to me that he was going to keep me safe. I never felt more afraid. Oh my god. In my mind, I screamed for him to stop. And then he did. I demanded he untie me. He did. It was weird. For a second, he was like a toy. I told him to leave. And he did. Daniel has ascended. I could feel his confusion. But I told him everything was okay. He didn't need to come back. And in his mind, he agreed. I think he was relieved. Was he relieved? I, I don't know about that. October 8th. Peter's people came back early. I have to go. I cried, I protested, but they said something was wrong. I told them I didn't think Uncle Greg was gonna hurt me, but they said Uncle Greg wasn't the concern. Then why is he leaving? I can see their thoughts. Danger. It's not Uncle Greg, but I felt it before. I asked to warn my parents, but they tell me it's already too late. I heard something. Was that a gun? What did they just do to him? Wait, what? He's being like taken up into the spaceship. But the gunshot, there was blood on Uncle Greg. That was the last journal entry Wait, from Daniel what? Peterson. That was the last journal entry from Daniel Peterson. Nothing about October 8th appeared unusual. Wendy spent most of the day running errands and helping the church. Harold met several clients that morning, then campaigned for school board the rest of the afternoon. The way I completely forgot that the parents' names were Wendy and Harold. It was Wendy, Harold, and Uncle Greg, but Uncle Greg was definitely like the main character, him and Daniel. Even Daniel reportedly had a quiet day. Greg Peterson spent the day visiting the many bars of downtown Cades Crossing. No one reported on being in any trouble. Later that night, Harold and Wendy Peterson were shot point blank range with a shotgun. The coroner estimated that the time of death was about 2.30 a.m. The weapon, nor their son, have ever been found. Greg Peterson was found wandering the woods two days later. He claimed that the black-eyed children left him there as well took his nephew. Traces of Harold Peterson's blood were found on his clothes. 
During the trial, the defense filed a motion stating that Greg Peterson was not fit to stand trial. The motion failed. The defense went on to argue that the evidence was circumstantial. Greg Peterson was found guilty and given the death penalty. He was executed in 2002. And then the Peterson sad story fell into the macabre history of Kate's Crossing, leaving only the urban legend of otherworldly visitors. However, in 2019, the Peterson story resurfaced. Mike Singer, now retired, reportedly called the police and told them that he saw Daniel Peterson. He was grown, but not human. His skin looked green and his eyes appeared black. He came back. He told the police, Daniel knows, and he's come back for me. When the police investigated, they found Mr. Singer had hung himself in his office. Oh my God. His now famous suicide oh note confessed God. to hiring a pair of thugs to <gasps> murder the Petersons. He went on to explain that he was blackmailed by the now infamous Dunnington Construction, and he needed to be in a position to approve their bids for new school projects. He concluded his note with Beware, the children with black eyes. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I have chills. Shut up! I have chills! Oh! Get out of here! That was so freaking loud at the end. What? God, and Peter Pan warned Daniel from the beginning about this. Remember, he kept showing, like in the very, very, very beginning here, when Daniel gets that first visit, Peter Pan shows him. Where is Peter? When does he come? Is it here? He like shows him Mr. Singer, and he says danger when he says it. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, it's here. Look. No, no, because Peter Pan told us from the beginning, stop. Danger. The stinger guy was always danger. Or singer. I keep calling him the stinger guy. He's literally his parents' graves. Holy cow. Danger. He was trying so hard to warn him. This is so sad. This is so sad. Oh my god. So Peter... Peter knew when he was coming to, and obviously the alien's name probably was not Peter Pan, but like this little kid, Daniel, perceived him that way and like gave him that persona. Like Peter knew this was coming, like knew this would be Daniel's end. This would be the end of Daniel. And like, this is what he was trying to tell him. You have to choose. You want to stay here with the danger or do you want to come with us and get saved? And then Greg killed him. And of course they thought it was Uncle Greg that killed the whole family. Holy cow. Peter literally just wanted to protect them. Well, I don't think it was much about them. I think it was more about Daniel. Because like in their heads, I think, of course, Uncle Greg was a failure. Uncle Greg like couldn't be turned for some reason because of his DNA. But like the dad had chosen his like earthly life over going with the aliens and going with the black eyed children when he was just a kid. That is the craziest reveal I've ever heard in my life. Like even to the very end, I was like, so uncle Greg just killed everybody. But even as I saw him with like the blood on his chest and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Like why would he have been shot first before anybody else? He wasn't, he, he was, he, this is crazy. This is this wow 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 vintage eight you have done it again 
constantly raising the bar for us all. The fact that we were this confused, this like 40 minutes ago in the video. Stop, wait, you're right. Oh my God. Chat just pointed this out. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Marisha Sanders just pointed out in chat as well. Peter and Wendy. The mom's name is Wendy. The mom's name is Wendy. I bet the mom was visited then. Daniel said he'd come back to see his parents, but he came back to avenge his parents' murderers. Exactly. Uncle Greg, justice for freaking Uncle Greg, because from the beginning, I truly believe that Uncle Greg just didn't understand. And how could he have? Like the entire story, I'm wondering, like, is it better for Daniel? Yes, of course, he's being bullied at school and he's going through, you know, family troubles and stuff. But what child has it, you know, like, is that worthy of ascending to this supernatural life or whatever? But like, oh, my God, the whole freaking time, the whole time Peter was just trying to protect Daniel. Man, that's brutal. That's absolutely brutal. I loved that. The fact that this video only has 30,000 views makes me want to tear my hair out with my bare hands. This needs to, like, this is just so good. It's so good. Please, if you guys can, also, I linked the original video down below. If you could go and support Vintage 8, click that little subscribe button, perhaps. I really think that their, their content is just so good. Like, they just deserve everything, actually, because what are you talking about? That was so good. Oh, my God. It was so good. I loved it. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. That was so good. <laughs> and re-enter the music. Thank you guys. Yes, support Vintage 8. Kit Strife said getting Uncle Greg to be arrested and executed is like the aliens cleaning up their mistake. Yeah, I guess so. But like, I think that the murder was always planned. Like, I think that, I think that the murder that Mr. Singer was planning for so long was already more than planned by the time that the aliens came. I think that the aliens were warning of that danger like when Peter Pan initially showed up at the window. So maybe it could be the aliens cleaning up their mistake. Maybe. I think that part of him was crazy. Um, Killis, if you're still here, I'm glad you popped in. Um, but I, I think, I think that there was a part of Uncle Greg that was of course like a little crazy, a little unwell because he was so obsessed with these black eyed children and the mystery behind them and seeing them as kids and all of this stuff. And like, I know that, but I truly think that that was planned from the beginning. Excuse me. Can I ask you guys a hypothetical? Like just like a really hypothetical question. This is not related to what we just watched, but if I made merch, <laughs> if I made merch and I had a t-shirt, like if I had an article of clothing that said, live, laugh, Loey Lane, how would you feel about that? Like if I actually released merch that said, live, laugh, Loey Lane, <laughs> because I would wear it every single day of my life, like forever and ever and ever and ever. My manager would wear it every single day of her life. My bestie would see it every, wear it every single day of her life. But like, would you guys wear Live, Laugh, Loey Lane or is that too on the nose? 
Okay, I'm getting a lot of yes. Okay, 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 good. Good, immediately yes, that's traffic. So true. It's a cup, good to know. Good to know. That's a, that's a little, well, I don't know how far off it'll be. We'll see. I have to, I have to figure some stuff out, but good to know. Very good to know. Um, I was thinking that, uh, two and a half hours is weirdly short for me to, um, Heather Dawn, I love you. Lauren Marie said, maybe just live, laugh, flowy. Maybe. I'll see how it all looks. I'll see how it all looks. Uh, hypothetically, in a hypothetical world where I made merch, of course. Um, I was thinking that two and a half hours now is so short for a stream for us. Like, I feel like we've been streaming so much longer, but ever since Riley got sick, I feel like it's been a lot more, um, like, short streams, you know? Um, but actually, tomorrow, I am getting up first thing to go and film something, which is going to be really fun. I'm very, very, very excited. Uh, so I think it's probably for the best if I go out and call it there. Um, thank you guys so much for popping in, though. I will miss you so terribly over the next two weeks. Be on the lookout for any spontaneous streams. Um, but I definitely don't have anything planned for the next two weeks. You'll still have like a normal video next week. Um, actually you'll have 50 scary TikToks as your next video. Surprise if you're in this stream. Um, but yeah, I will still miss you guys very, very, very much, um, while I'm out of the country and... I'm glad we got to do this and catch up. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I had a lot of fun. I missed you guys. I'll miss you very much. Um, official Terror Spooky, you actually stayed awake, you icon, you. So thank you guys so much for making it tonight. Thanks for popping into the Scream stream. I know we started off a little rocky, but as always, I warmed up. We got there. Um... Virgo Sapphire, of course. I'm so glad you're here. All right, cutie pies. I will miss you so very much while I'm gone. Um, but I will see you very soon. And of course, be on the lookout for normal vids. I'm also not traveling for two weeks. I'm just going to miss like next week's scream stream. You know what I mean? Because um, I won't be there on or I won't be here on Sunday. So I'm very, very, very excited, but also will miss you terribly. I love you very, very much. Thank you for being here tonight. Thanks for watching that with me. I freaking love Vintage 8, so make sure to subscribe to him. Um, and I will see you soon with another main channel video. And uh, soon being like in a couple days, like later on this week. Eee! Sorry, Kate, but I hope you go back and watch it all. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you soon, okay? Have a good rest of your week. I love you.